Hey, what's up everybody? I'm just doing a quick how-to tonight on uh, how to emit uh, particles from a terrain mesh, or rather from a copy of a terrain mesh. Um, and this will actually work for any mesh, so feel free to use this for anything else. Um, but I ran across a, a, a need to, to put some fireflies into a project I'm working on recently, and I didn't want to create an emitter with uh, that I had to place into the level over and over and over again. Um, so I wanted it to come out of the train itself. So I'm going to go over here into the landscape tab. I'm just going to do a small piece of train here. It doesn't even need to be 8 by 8. Um, I'll do 4 by 4. Uh, I'll go ahead and create. It'll probably go in as the default. And then I'm going to go ahead and just sculpt it. This can be like 300. I'm just gonna put some, you know, hills in over here, um, and and I'll put some valleys in over here. If you don't know how to use the landscape tool, uh, there's lots of tutorials out there. Or if enough people want me to, I can make a tutorial on how to use it. But um, basically, I just want to deform this uh, somewhat um, to get a a good variety of heights. So like a good size hill over here and then we'll make it really low over here and once we've got this um, I guess I'll smooth it out a little bit too smooth just to yeah something like that there we go so we've got we've got a good variety here um, and we're going to need an emitter so I'm just going to go ahead and create a particle system here and we'll call this fireflies um, and we want fireflies to be pretty so we'll do an emissive I'll call it emissive I hope that's how you spell it probably not but you know who cares and we're just gonna do translucent and we're going to drive this with a um, color where is it particle color that's not what I want yeah, there we go. Vector parameter. It doesn't need to be a parameter. You can use the uh, vector constant too. And we'll go ahead and just emit some sort of whitish yellow color. I am like that, and that'll work. I mean, it's going to be a square in the emitter, uh, so you'll have to add your own material with a mask and so on and so forth if you want it to be more complicated. We're going to come in here, and just in the required, we're going to do sieve yep there's our material and it's going to compile our shaders get da, da. and so what we want it to do yeah and we're going to bring the size the initial size um, way way down to like say one um, just do one all across the board okay uh, so now we've got it emitting all of these and I'm gonna change the spawn rate way up so that we can see it we'll do a thousand there you go and that's just and it's actually we'll do 500 so it's not quite so yeah there we go um, initial velocity we're gonna take this way down to like uh, one 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 minus one minus one minus one so now they can just kind of go out and we're going to take the lifetime up to maybe like three seconds. So now we've got this cloud of particles being emitted here. Um, but they're obviously only being emitted from one place. And that's not super useful to us. Um, so how do we get them to come out of the train? So this, this took me a while, a bit of research to figure out how to do, but there's actually uh, a, a uh, module here called, um, under location, called Skelvert Surf Location. And this actually takes in a skeletal mesh and it emits either at source vertices or surfaces. Now, I haven't been able to get the surfaces to work for this, but vertices works pretty darn well. And um, it needs a skeletal mesh. And unfortunately, this is not a skeletal mesh. But what we can do is um, export selected. 
and I've gone ahead and uh, created a temp folder for um, temp mesh folder and we're gonna save as type FBX and we're gonna call it um, we'll call it landscape mesh okay yep and I just leave everything default and I export and then what we want to do is we want to import and we want to go back to that same folder and we want to import it but when we pop this menu up we want to select skeletal mesh and this may give you a warning that it doesn't have any bones I don't think it's going to on this one yeah so it's it's gonna give us some warning errors but we've got our skeletal mesh in here so if we click in here or into the skeleton and we click on the skeleton this is called landscape zero so now and that's important we need to remember that name landscape underscore zero capital L what we're gonna do is we're coming in here and in the skelvert surface location we're gonna say hey whatever we choose here is a skeletal mesh uh, what we care about for a bone is landscape underscore zero that's the only bone that matters and what's what's happened here is we've imported a regular mesh as a skeletal mesh and it's given it one single default bone which is um, and you'll see it here the exact shape of our terrain so what uh, we want to do is um, move this oops move this directly um, over our terrain and then fit it down on top I'm not going to do a perfect job here but basically what we want to do is get it so that it's right on it yeah there we go and I'm going to lift it up just slightly so that the firefly spawn like slightly above it and then because we don't want to look at it uh, we're going to create a material and we'll call this invisible and we're just going to um, set it to uh, translucent and we're going to hold the S key down and click and set this parameter uh, value to zero and we're going to drive that into the opacity there so we have no opacity anywhere in this material whatsoever and you can tell it just disappears and we're going to imp we're going to uh, apply invisible to the landscape thing there and then we're going to come down to uh, collision and what we want to do is change it from physics actor to no collision we don't want any sort of collision whatsoever so now uh, we can drag out our fireflies actor here and then in fireflies we have all of our details over here we want to click the button that says expose parameter and that's going to expose our uh, vert surface actor and we need to select one because um, it doesn't have one selected so what we're going to do is um, select out of here landscape mesh and now you can tell right on the surface here we'll go into game mode we have these appearing all across the landscape now in the project I was working on I gave them acceleration so they flitted around you know I gave them an initial velocity that was random an initial acceleration that was random and then an acceleration over life so they'd actually change the direction that they were accelerating so they looked a lot more like fireflies but this is generally the effect um, that uh, you can get out of that we'll go ahead and lift this up to like five 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 minus five minus five minus five maybe they'll move around a little bit more um, and we'll give them we'll go ahead and do the acceleration I won't do it over life but we'll give them a, a starting distribution of acceleration of say five 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 minus five minus five minus five did I accidentally do the initial velocity is no I did it right okay um, so so now we should see yeah they're moving around and they're still squares so you'll need to change the material out so that you have the right thing but they're being emitted from all of the vertices of this mesh now um, which are quite a lot so uh, I hope that was helpful to somebody again you can do this with any mesh not just landscape uh, meshes but I found this a nice trick so I hope this is helpful thank you so much for watching